now to be wife, when we were 13 years old, uh, I went to work at a gas station where her parents owned, and they were working on a race car. So I got to work on a race car when I was 13, and I've been around it ever since. My first exposure to sprint cars was in the in the late 50s. I was still in high school. I had a friend that was pitting for a sprint car team, and uh, I'd go with him on Saturday nights. Then I got away from it. I <clears throat> got involved in my career, and uh, it was years later that another friend just. Uh, insisted I go with him to uh, Manzanita Racetrack in Phoenix. And it, it just really reset the hook. I, I was just fascinated with these cars. I met Judy Gossett, Russell's wife, many years ago when I was a computer consultant and uh, I worked on their networks and through her I met Russell. So he invited me out to watch him race one night and I went and I went down in the pits and I kind of got hooked and I've been going to every race ever since. I didn't know anything about sprint cars at the time and just learning by watching and doing is, is uh, what I've done. I guess it's been 11 years now. My father used to work on a sprint car team uh, very similar to what I'm doing with Russell and, and the guys. I used to go down to the shop and, and I would sit in the car I, I would pretend I was racing and I'm pretty sure I never lost a race. But, you know, I, I, I got to do that and I, I think that's where my passion or, or love or whatever for sprint car racing began and so then I get to come over here it was kind of like a dream come true for me to I'm back to what uh, I wanted to do when I was a kid. Okay. Alright, yeah that looks good. It's the strangest thing because uh, you learn from primarily from competitors and the competitors will tell you that they want to help you because they want you to be safe because your comfort in the car, the, the car working correctly on the racetrack is beneficial to them as a competitor. They don't want a loose cannon out on the racetrack. So they'll help you to a degree, but they won't tell you everything. Last year, our car, uh, we, we named her Christine after, after the movie. Uh, she was haunted and we couldn't get her to do anything. Uh, this year, we've got a very, very strong car. And, and we need, it needs a little work. We've got to do some adjusting and fine tuning, but I'm very confident that uh, if we all put our heads together, we're going to get her done. And, and we may not win the championship, but I think we're going to give them a hard time, whoever does. So. These cars have evolved from 60, 70 years, well, I shouldn't say 60, 70 for sprint cars, but since the 60s and 70s, sprint cars evolved from the early roadsters and uh, the jalopies to, to what you see here today. These, these cars are, have been through a lot of design changes and a lot of uh, materials changing over the years. And uh, this is the evolution of sprint cars.
Well, the track takes about three days to get ready. It's like making a giant brownie. You mix the oil, you mix the water and the egg in there, and you start stirring it up, and it seems like it's never gonna mix. But after three days of stirring it up with a road grater and the blade, and uh, watering it in between, pretty soon it's got a thick, wet, chunky coat, and it's about six, eight inches deep. The most attractive thing to me are the people who we race with and, and who are at the track every time. Um, all very good people. We help each other. We uh, hate each other. We love each other. It's, uh, it's a real community and, and something I'm very proud to be associated with and enjoy very much. about kind of having fun it means like every other race here you, you want to be as prepared as possible and you want to come out here to win we've got a little bit newer car here that we haven't spent much time in and we're trying to get some of the kinks out of it so it'll run well all night but you know the big thing is we have fun at what we're doing here and uh, we hope for a top three thrill of the speed and, and, the, and the not knowing of what's going to happen because this car will all of a sudden be going along just fine. Next thing you know, you're looking at the sky because it's doing a wheelie and it's just because of the horsepower to weight ratio of these cars. Man, they're kicking the ass. They're fun to drive. Everything is, is hyper hyperventilated, you're just on tilt at all times. The throttle response is, is absolutely startling. You just can't imagine what it feels like to accelerate in one of these. How do you feel? I feel very good, very good. We're lucky to have all four wheels on it. We come home, yeah. Oh, it feels good. We finally have a car we can work with. All right. Nothing happens overnight. How we have to learn the car. What do, you, what do you think about tonight? And I said, I think we'll be in the top four tonight. <laughs> <laughs> good chance. Oh, I think it was a very good night overall. Uh, real positive, the car seems good. We just gotta do some fine tuning and we're gonna be able to give them all a hard time this year. I'm happy, I'm just hoping the guys and the, and the car owner are happy. That's the important thing. You know, because there's about 10 other guys that'll fit that seat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. go. We better try again. Okay, let's try again. Okay.